First we bought few bearings in the hardware store, these kind of things that spin. Next we found three light-sided spinner templates on the internet, add few lines and print it out. The thickness of bearings were 7 mm, that's why we should find a board almost the same thickness. Carefully cut contours of spinner and stick it to that thing with tape. Now we need small nail and using it pierce all central points on wood. Draw an outline with pencil and it should be like this. We bought a drill for wood, diameter should be same with the diameter of bearing, but not bigger than this. Tightly fix it on table and putting it the drill to a power drill, very carefully drill a hole. This is the most important part, a drill should be positioned perpendicular to our thing, otherwise spinner won't work. Now get a file and cut a thing in outline. It's getting more familiar with what we want. It even spins. Cut unnecessary parts on corners and putting it in a vise make it round using a file. Then clean all edges and holes with sandpaper. If you have a special sponge, use it instead, because it's softer. After this process, we got almost finished spinner. In order to protect it from dirt and moist, we use wood furnish. Theoretically, we can use nail polish. Cover it thoroughly rubbing, so it won't get any trails. And wait for a while. At the same time we take a bearing and using stationary knife carefully get underneath this black ring. We can see a lot of grease inside, which should be removed. For this we can use WD-40, kerosene or solvent. Our task is get rid of from grease from bearing by all means, so it can spin easily. Now place bearings on its place, use a gun if you need and that's it. We got a really awesome spinner, which all of you guys can make. The key is just be patient and careful.